Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre from WindowsITExperts.com and in today's video we are going to see how to rename domain controller in Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2 and Windows Server 2012 R2. So the scenario for uh, renaming the domain controller is uh, if if any any one of the uh, any one of the site is uh, is uh, relocated to another location and uh, we have to shift that particular domain controller uh, to another look you know, to the new office okay so as per the naming convention document we have to rename uh, host name of of the domain controller so that uh, we will uh, we will have uh, we will have a uh, compliance uh, regarding to our naming conventions the second the second scenario would be if uh, there are any errors uh, or any manual errors uh, uh, in the host name of the domain controller then we can rename it uh, with the uh, with the system properties in and netdom command in 2008 and uh, and in 2012 uh, we have only net dom command uh, to rename the domain controller okay so uh, this is the scenario so let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, rename uh, domain controllers okay so this is my 2008 uh, server okay i am going to log in into it so uh, there are two scenarios uh, there are two things uh, we how we can rename in uh, in 2008 we can rename in uh, rename uh, domain controller from system properties uh, that is uh, from here but this option is not recommended by microsoft because it may uh, it may uh, maybe errors or any any if any changes are there uh, in or any SPN changes would not uh, would not rep replicate to other domain controllers. So this uh, is not recommended by Microsoft. The net dom uh, the net dom is uh, recommended by Microsoft. So we can we can do this uh, like uh, we are doing uh, any any other server uh, uh, rename operation. So uh, let's go ahead and rename this from start. I go to computer properties then change settings then I would get uh, this uh, uh, system properties uh, box uh, from change I would get this uh, error domain controllers uh, cannot be moved from one domain to another they must be first demoted and renaming the domain controllers may cause it to become temporarily unavailable to users yes that's it uh, if uh, we are going to rename the domain controller it the users would not be able to authenticate with this particular domain controller okay so there would not be any services running or users would not be able to do any tasks uh, related to authentication or login into their systems uh, if uh, this domain controller is configured on their systems so let's go ahead with the rename operation so i have a dc1 computer name as a dc1 what i would do i would change it to dc2 okay so it will take some time so after renaming the domain controller we have to reboot it uh, once uh, like uh, we do in our uh, normal rename operation restart now Okay, so it will take uh, one free boot uh, to do uh, changes in uh, Active Directory and all those things. So after that, we will check if uh, if our application is working fine. If DC Direct has, uh, we have to check with the DC Direct if there are any changes. Uh, if uh, the changes what we made <coughs> to the domain controller has been properly applied or not. So my server has rebooted and booting up meanwhile i will uh, pause the video and will get back uh, so my uh, server has been rebooted and uh, i am back with uh, with a new dc uh, domain controller name that is a uh, dc2 so you can see that a full computer name is dc2.dot uh, uh, 
uh, windows at exp.com so we have successfully renamed the domain controller in windows server 2008 and this is the same procedure for windows server 2008 r2 as well okay so i'll check over here change system properties i have dc2 windows xp.com okay so what i will do i will go ahead with <coughs> dc die command and let's check so these are the errors uh, related to time sync and thing related to our uh, our uh, domain controller rename operation this is also not related to our operation so uh, let's see uh, we have successfully renamed now it is uh, dc2 okay this is uh, showing as dc2 let's check the authentication okay so go to windows it exp.com sites then uh, default first site tcp can you see uh, still we have a dc1 okay so authentication is still going to dc1 and what step we have to take is we have to go to dns server uh, we have to go to services.msc and what we can do uh, to make changes we can restart the DNS server service so after that what will oh let's see it has been changed to DC2 so now authentication uh, is working fine for the users so next thing is NetDOM to rename operation to rename domain controller uh, with the netdom command so we can do this in windows server 2008 r2 as well and in windows server 2012 as well so for netdom uh, operation we would go to windows server 2012 so there is another way to uh, to rename domain controller in windows server uh, 2012 r2 and also in 2008 r2 uh, that that is a netdom command uh, we can rename domain controller with the help of netdom command as well and this is the recommended by microsoft uh, for the rename operation of the domain controller so what we are going to do first of all we will check what is the host name okay so dc3 is the host name of uh, my windows server 2012 r2 domain controller what is dns records <coughs> so go to dns go to windows id exp.com go to sites and tcp okay so what was the host name dc3 so i have dc3 gc then kerberos and ldap these are the records which are useful for the authentication of the of the user okay so now let's go ahead and do the rename operation to rename uh, the domain controller uh, with the netdom command you should have a domain admin privileges for your account i do have and run this uh, cmd command uh, cmd with administrator okay you can see this is the uh, this uh, cmd is already open with the administrator so let's go ahead netdom space computer name now this is the syntax old computer name now what is the old computer name fq fqdn of the old computer name dc3 dot windows id exp dot com space slash add colon of new domain controller 
<coughs> computer dc let's give dc 10 dot Okay, so Windows IT EXP dot com slash add. Uh, it will add one entry into registry for this this host name DC ten dot Windows IT EXP dot com. It will not going to change it right away. We have to add it, then make it primary, and then remove the old computer account computer name okay so what it will do it will also change your uh, spn spn of the domain controller and also it will update dns record dns records okay so in previous for uh, previous way we, uh, we were not able to update the dns record we had to restart the dns service and then the records were updated now in this uh, uh, in this uh, method rename of the dns records would be done uh, would be taken care by net dom command okay so let's uh, the command completed successfully okay so and uh, it is just a addition of this host name now we have to make it primary the command is same just change the syntax make primary okay enter aha now we have to reboot the server okay successfully made dc 10 dot windows id exp okay so the primary name for the computer the computer must be rebooted for this name change to take effect until then this computer may not be able to authenticate to users so uh, till then now let's check the dns records these are not yet updated okay now what we'll do we'll restart server okay so this is the command shut down space hyphen r space hyphen t zero zero it will reboot the server in zero zero seconds okay enter so now uh, my server is rebooting so what i will do i will pause the video recording and we'll get back to you after so now dc has been rebooted and we are back uh, with the changes okay so let's check if my host name is changing so this is the full computer name dc 10 dot windows exp dot com let's go to dns mgmt so sites default first site then tcp so this is my windows dc 10 okay so dc 10 is added so let's check now we have to remove that particular host name okay computer sorry the current name the new one windows it exp space remove colon the old host name fqdn of the old host name oh something wrong with this command ah we miss slash the command gets completed successfully so the old hostname has been removed and now we have only 
dc10.windowsidexp.com host name let's check i refresh it and those entries were removed automatically okay so this is set for this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel please like uh, me on facebook please please follow me on twitter please follow me on google plus and all the links are given below in the description so thanks for watching bye bye see you soon